God of War. Here we are. Um, mentioned a couple times during the Let's Play that I might stream this. Didn't know when, but I have just finished recording the Let's Play. 58 episodes, so it'll wrap up this upcoming Friday, which is perfect. Right in time for uh, the Dark Souls walkthrough of the remaster. Um, if you're watching this now, you're in luck. If you're watching this on YouTube, it'll probably be a week after it's recorded, because I'm going to upload this after the full Let's Play. But so I finished the game. Uh, this stream will obviously contain spoilers and discussion about the game. If you are still playing God of War, or if you are avoiding spoilers, I would suggest you not watch this as to not spoil post-story discussion stuff for yourself. Oh, yeah. Fuck the Val Queen, though, man. She is a bitch. Massive bitch. I've been trying for like an hour. Cannot beat her. Um, and honestly, I think the biggest thing is I just need to go upgrade my shit. So, we are going to be upgrading our gear. We're going to be doing a lot of um, a lot of Niflheim stuff. What did I think of the ending of the game? Um, honestly, I didn't feel like it was a fucking end. Like, the end of this game, it didn't feel like an ending. It felt like a... And that's the first part of the game done. Like, left me wondering, like, you know, well, what, what happens? You know, we see that final panel where, um, you know, Atreus is holding Kratos. We found out that he's supposed to be Loki, which, I mean, there, there's been a couple departures from, like, traditional uh, lore and whatnot in this, but if he's supposed to be Loki, that makes him Thor's brother and technically Odin's son, I believe? Like, isn't Odin Loki's father? Yeah, Odin remembered his father bore his dying words to adopt the son of a father killed by his hands. Oh, Odin adopted Loki. Oh, okay, all right, never mind. So Loki was an adopted father. Okay. All right. Oh, that explains that. Okay. For a sec, because like in one of the last episodes, I was like, yo, what the fuck? I thought that was Thor's kid, or I thought that was Odin's kid. That means Kratos been playing baby daddy with Loki, and Zeus actually pumped a baby into his wife, and this shit's so fucked up. But if he was adopted, that makes a lot more sense. Been putzing around Nipleheim, have Yeah, fuck Nipleheim. So, I got rid of this. Um, I'm not going to use that anymore. I'm using the Hellstone one on him. But I need to upgrade. I need this, which I need the Frozen Flame, and I can buy the Frozen Flame, but I have to do Nipleheim shit. So, basically, we're going to do a bunch of stuff in Nipleheim. Because if I'm going to buy... There it is. Frozen Flame, Chilling Mist of Nipleheim, which I'm guessing is inside one of those fucking chests. Um... Meteor Orc Slam. That thing was badass. But that requires shit that I ain't got. Namely, Greater Crest of Flames. Rage of Titans. Looked kind of cool, but not something I would really trust in a Valk fight. Also, needs a bunch of hack silver and I'm broke. Time. Have you returned to the Hut House for cutscene? No, I didn't know there is a cutscene. I've been so busy trying to, to kill the final Valkyrie, I haven't had a chance to. No, in actual Norse mythology, he is from the Frost Giants. He was a servant of the gods. Huh. Neat. Alright, well, first thing I gotta do, I gotta light the, uh, the Braziers in Lucilfheim. So we're gonna go there first. Punch that in. I don't want to go back to the hut yet. I'll save that for the end of this. Because this is gonna get uploaded to YouTube after the fact, so... People are gonna want to know. Um, you know they're gonna want the cutscene and whatnot. They gotta kill the. Gotta kill the Valk first. We're gonna kill the Valk. We're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to upgrade the armor. I think if I get like if I run probably two pieces of the armor, because I, I like these, but I think the other ones are gonna be better. Do you want me to put that movie on for you? Or are you just hanging out?
So I was not, I don't know if I can do this here, but I think this will work. Really? Shouldn't we save our strength for the challenge? It won't work. I gotta get, alright, there's the tower. So I was going around trying to do this. This. Browser is lit. And the last one is here, but I can't get to the tower. And I'm wondering if maybe I light them in Muselheim instead. Which I think that's what I did in Helheim, so... No, because these are the Brasiers. You could definitely not light them here. So that's... That's fucked. I mean, out of the Valk armor, though, I have... Like, I would consider this to be the best piece, because it's high perk activation chance to get a Brunic of... Blessing of Brunic when using a Runic attack. This one sounds dope, but it's low perk. And the chest I have is low perk unstoppable. But the problem is, if you're going to use the Valk, you need to have it fully upgraded. Because if the Valk's not fully upgraded, you know, there's really no point in using it. Because you need those three slots. So yeah, I don't know how to light the Muselheim browsers. Apparently it's not in Muselheim, though. So let's go to Niflheim. Start upgrading our armor there. Uh, aside from that, what other goals do I got to accomplish? Big trials. Fuck that. Ravens. Realm tears. Find all Jotnar shrines. There's one I've missed. Fine. Come on, let's pick up where we left off. I mean, I figure you can light him from the lake, but I could not find a way to access Muselheim's tower. Just, it was not working, because there was no path up. Where am I running? I go this way. Anyway, we'll go to Niflheim for now, because I need to go there and get shit done. If I'm gonna use that armor, I need to... Good old Niflheim. Several, you have to open the door from behind. I personally prefer the Nif set because the runic damage is strong on the Chaos Blades. Yeah, I use Chaos Blades a lot. Like you said, this, this is a strength weapon we're at. Though, hang on, if I'm gonna go exploring, let me swap off Blast, put back on that. That can stay on. That's good, and it's good. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna. I got a couple of nilf things too that I'm gonna swap to while I'm here. I, I will say I like this place a lot more than Muselheim, but it's um, it's definitely. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> just, a, just a huge pain in the fucking ass. Out. Shard. Heart of Vanheim. This one. Burn. These ones I was running. Uh, perfect on a parry. Passive protection, and on a kill. So kill, parry, and then just a bit of protection. Super powerful runic attacks I have, but they all need like stuff. Like I'd have to go through the Muselheim trials, and I fucking hate the Muselheim trials. Yeah, that's what I was trying to use during the attack. I got, I have that, the dwarf chest. Um, but it's it's not 100%, but it's a lot of the time, this one. Moderate perk to grant protective barrier. And I was using that, and that was definitely helping against the Valk Queen, but it, it wasn't enough. Because like when it would activate, I was like, gotcha, bitch, Supposed you're not hitting me. And then other times she would secret. just fuck if me up. And I was like, me. oh, but well, that who knows, really? Dwarves are strange. This and means I yes, need embers. I realize but the I'm bigger problem is I don't have Haze Weave. I need to go find Haze Weave. Which I'm guessing is in this area somewhere. 
Uh, same with like this. If I want to use this, I need to get uh, Mist Echoes. Not Mist Echoes, there's Guardian Steel, which I would need the final Valk for. Uh, this needs Haze Weave, Pristine Scales, and Greater Flames. That needs Pristine Dust and Niflheim Alloy. This, I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna use that or not. I'm using the other one right now where it's like when I axe people, it does damage. Well, which, I don't use the axe that much. I should probably just go for, yeah, this one. But it's 14, 15, 22. Compared to this, 14, 15, 22 is pretty awesome. Down a bit more and we'll build something then. So anyway, let's jump into Niflheim. You get weaves in the side zones, like where the Valk was located. There should be two side zones or three. All right, let's go into the misty bullshit land. Okay, make sure I had a stone. I do. I do like this a lot more than most of the time though. This kind of reminds me of like Chalice Dungeons, except a better design. Crush where I'm one of those things, dude. On like one of the second to last episodes I upload, I like come here and one of those things crushes me, and then I just wrap the episode up and I'm like, well, I guess we're gonna have to go back and fight the goddamn boss later because this is dumb. But like, I, I basically killed the Valk and then died to one of those on my way back. And because I died, I dropped my perfect as Guardian Steel and everything else. I was like, uh, okay, I guess we're refighting. But it's still not my good. Okay. Now that that's done. Oh, I did not mean to use that. The game saved after you died. You killed the Valk. Wouldn't the Smith just have the steel you missed? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I didn't check. I just reloaded the game and fought the Valk again. I mean, the Valk that's here wasn't, I didn't find it to be particularly hard, anyway. Like, out of all the Valks I fought, the one that was in here, the harder thing was just re reaching it with the mist. But, if you didn't equip all the enchantment for the bracers, you equipped only one enchantment. Wait, oh my god, thank you for pointing that out. I hate that, how it's like you have to go into each to be like, okay, put that one on. Okay, and then we go here, and then, like, why can't I just click, 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 click? It's so much easier, you know? Give me the booty, I want the booty. What's up, hype? Hey, fat boy. Oh, man, level eight. Chop you down like a tree! Oh no! What the fuck? Dude, these guys came out of nowhere! Oh. 
Come here. You will kill the assholes that just killed me. No, no, no! Oh my god, dude. Wow. Fucked up. I can't believe I died to the basic bitch things. Oh, well, I mean, technically I died to the ogre, but I died to the basic bitches, and then that procced my fucking gem, and then the ogre... Troll. Troll. Eight months? Oh man, demon. Need a fresh Getting upgrade before tackling the realm close. tears? Not that I condone such an action, mind you. Gave me that back. Oh, nothing. It's fucking trolls, man. Okay. Give me the booty, I want the booty. I'm alone, coming in with the sub hype. I need to lower those. Why are those so loud? Hang on a sec. I like. I've been trying to like tweak a lot of the stuff and the sub hype is still like fucking deafening like everything else is like like I can barely hear it but the fucking sub hype man sub hype goes off I'm like oh shit alright let's go here we go back in again Fast. The pipe was dead silence? What are you talking about, bro? There's been two sub hypes so far this stream. Demon with the eight month and loan with the four month. We already bought one. Yeah, I got the chest piece. I probably could have made it, but wait. Ah, this bitch, stop it. One whole set in the mist is basically not a threat, unless you're stupid about it. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Using, um, I got three different mist gems. Dina is not Kratos' mother. Oh, fucking things. 
Kratos was born of a mortal in Zeus. and the traveler god damn dude On my way. this place is cancer why why are you level eight stay still i can't kill this bitch dude this is sucks this sucks Health. No, she didn't. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Please don't hit me right now while I spam runic attacks, sir. Oh, thanks, bro. I need to wait for my uh, infinity gauntlet. Mr. Butt Shield. I got a shield. I got a shield. Okay, that's cool. I guess I'll die again. Fuck this place. Fuck that rune. That's coming out right now. I mean, I know he does a unblockable, but... I'm supposed to have fucking, um... This. Grants fortification. Exp oh, never mind. After the next successful block, and it wasn't a successful block because I didn't actually fucking block. Successful block because he was blockable. Fuck this place. Fuck this place. I can never find the things for. Uh, Alright. Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> this is the entrance area. I don't see any of them around here. Maybe they're just scattered throughout the, the mist-filled shit soul. No middle room? Oh! Not this time. Oh, 
I like how there's gotta be the one dark elf dickhead in the very back. As long as I don't get dookie down by some shit. Secret pommel in the Lake of Nine, the one hidden in the Invisible Rim Terror? Maybe. I don't know. I've gotten a lot of shit. It's hard to remember, like, everything I've gotten at this point. There's two right next to each other. Oh, there we go. This one's easy. Gimme, gimme. Mr. Goes. Kratos even get to Midgard? Do not question a god, boy. guys before we fight the big guys. What the fuck, dude? So, <clears throat> when I went left, it was the Valkyrie, and then going to the right, it was this guy. Are those, like, boss corners, basically? Like, is this one always going to be an ogre, and the other one is always a Valk or something else? Or is it, like, random bosses? about half. Does this mean, is it time for me to just head on back, or I keep going, or what?
And I'm just, my health is kind of low. Go, 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 go. Alright, so that way would lead me to like a Valk or something. Oh, no, 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 no! Fuck! Fuck, no. Wait, wait, no, no, no! Ow! Spinning blades were Evaldi's favorite. I always thought them a bit garish. Should have gone for this. I have your runic focus. I need Niflheim alloy. I can't because I don't have any Niflheim alloy. Well, I need I'll Niflheim you alloy. Don't buy it. <laughs> I always say not. Like yeah, the lose the lose what you gain is super fucking defeating to be honest. Like I would much rather it be like a Dark Souls type thing where it's like you know if you die you drop your shit, but. If you can make it back to where you were at in the mist, you'll have a chance to get your shit back. Because I'll be honest, if it wasn't for the fact that I have, like, I, I need to see the Valkyrie Queen beat, right now I'd probably be like, okay, fuck this, we're changing games. Because going through that, getting all those mist echoes, and then losing them, that really, really pisses me off. Especially because I was like, oh, I think I can make it to this room, and then I was like, no, wait, hang on, those things are coming, let me turn back around. Like, there was really no reason for me to die there. Oh my god, I can't climb up that! I almost just died there. I mean, it's really not high risk, high reward though. It's high risk, minimal grindy ass reward. to high risk and you're going to spend hours and hours and hours doing this to maybe get a good reward. Fuck this guy. He needs to fuck off. He 
A dick. No one likes you, traveler. I really don't like this place. Anything from Niflheim back to its home, use with caution to open Remtiers. Dude, I'm about to go back like right now, even with only 975 mist tankers. Are we lost? Nah. No, no, you! Mm. So that's it then. Why? I was between them. Why do they stun lock you, dude? Again, with the fucking spinning blades. I can't deal with this, dude. I see you're actually enjoying Ivaldi's workshop. You've certainly spent nope. enough time here. All that stuff gets lost. All that shit gets lost. You don't need to make excuses to say hello. That run protection room? Will that work here? I don't think that'll work. That'll just let me keep running. God, this guy sucks. You know what sucks more than that? Uh, people that are toxic dickheads. So you can fuck off and go watch somebody else, you prick. Honestly, I didn't want to stream this, but I want to beat the Valk. But if we're going to beat the Valk, I need to, I need to get the armor. I need to upgrade. I basically need to get through Niflheim, and I need to upgrade my shit to be able to beat the Valk Queen. Here we are. What the fuck, dude? Get off of me! Anvil probably would work better. That's what I used to use. I just put on, um, I was using Frost Giant's Frenzy from when I was fighting the Val Queen.
sprint back, try and grab the chest. Where's the chest? I said I missed a chest back here. Oh, here. Oh, I broke that open. What chest are you talking about, dude? see a chest. It's still early, but do you have any Game of the Year contenders? Monster Hunter World. This will probably win it for single player. Oh, where's a... God, I don't remember what that fucking thing looked like at the start. Put it on that one. What the fuck? Get off of me! Holy shit! You're not I know I'm not looking good. Thanks, Atreus. I don't know if we can even kill this dude in time. Do you enjoy this as much as Monster Hunter? This is really different. This is a story. Monster Hunter, you play for the grind. This, you play for the story. So I don't think you can really... I don't know. I think I enjoy... This is fun, but I definitely think I enjoy Monster Hunter more. For all. Wait, all I'm getting are fucking mist echoes, man. Not a single, uh... I made the workshop key, now I'm basically in farm mode. I just gotta farm shit the whole time. Oh, and it'll be next week sometime. Now we go back, child. We go back before I die to some bullshit again. Probably could have made that, but I'm gonna risk it. Making it back. God, I hate this place. And back in again.
collect as well, instead of walking all the way to Sindri. Oh. Well, that's good to know. Definitely shoot up there faster. Fucking blades, get me in! Oh my god. Dude, fuck these blades, seriously. Blades can fuck right off. CRN, one's there. There, there's, the, alright, there we go. in the chest. I might need to make my way back. Timer is already starting to get there. Miss that goes. Oh, no, that's, this is the boss room, this way. Let's do the boss and then we'll head back, I think. I've beaten everything but the Valkyrie Queen. Stop that, that realm explosion thing this dickhead does. I just gotta be really far from it. some haze weave. Alright, let's make our way back now that we got the boss dead. I'm honestly like, I'm fucking like paranoid now of traps. Like the blades and the walls and shit. Super paranoid about them after getting fucked by them multiple times. There is a lot to see here. The thing he's holding. Alright, that in the future. 
I usually just back the fuck up when I see it starting. Brother, you're fading fast. in here I have Niflheim greatly increased re resistance to cursed mist of Niflheim okay that's that sounds really fucking useful it's, uh, sockets three six ten five three Greatly increase resistance to Cursed Mist of Niflheim. Slightly increase duration of protection. High perk on provide protection, high perk on kill. Let me replace the parry. Precision throw. Taking damage during a runic reduces damage taken. My resources look like in elements. Stuff I'm looking. Haze weave four. Okay, I need one more haze weave. I think it was one haze weave. I need a five to craft something. The next chest is the one you want. What's in the next chest? A full set of mist armor with the mist axe handle will massively increase your maze time. See, I don't know. Like, really, I only want to do this enough to get, like, one fucking piece upgraded. I want I want to upgrade enough that I can beat up Valqueen, and then I'm basically done. <laughs> I got no interest in crawling through this place endlessly. Considering I'm at the very, very end of the game. Personally, I feel that's kind of silly. You know, it's like go all the way to the end of the game and then grind for what? You know, if I if I could beat the uh, the Val Queen without doing this shit, I would have done it already. But at least from the attempts I've done so far, unsuccessful. Conan is not until next week, guys. I said earlier, once a week. I said that last time we did it as well. Be gone, bitch! Is correct. This is just a let's play. We're not doing a 100% run. Not trying to make a walkthrough of it. It's a fun game to play. Not the kind of game I'm trying to get completionist with, though. One ding, two ding. Give me the mechos. 
Heroes. I mean, there'll be speedruns of this game. To be honest, the final boss fight isn't particularly bad. Like, you don't even realize it's really a final boss fight. You're like, oh, that's it? That's over? Traveler man! Fucking bedrocks! Be gone! That! No! Stay away from me! Oh man, I think we survived. I mean, the thing is, the end boss, it doesn't feel like a boss fight. It's like you go through and you beat him up a couple times, and then it's a cutscene, and then you do a little bit, and then it's a cutscene. And then after that, they're like, alright, we're back on fucking track, and it's like, good, let's go, you know, I'm ready to, to go. When I get to, when I got to, to Balder, I didn't feel like, hey, I made it to Balder. You know, this is probably the big finish. Like, you didn't go into it. Like, the only indication is that before we get there, um, what's his name is like, oh, before we proceed, brother, you better make sure that you have everything you want, because there may be no turning back here. And you're like, okay. And then it's like, an hour and a half long fights and all that shit, and I'm like, what? That was it? That was the end? Like, you don't find out what happened to, um, I don't remember if it was Modi or Magni, but the second one, the one that was left over, you don't find out what happened to his dumbass. You never see Thor, you never see Zeus, or not Zeus, um, Odin. Alright, so what is this chest that y'all were saying I want? As we're saying, save up. Is there is there like a listing of what is in these chests? Just echoes chests. Perfect art of fight. Oh, let me see. Eye of Niflheim. What I got. This one's is an enchantment. Chilling mists of Niflheim. Which one was this? Are you the 7500? This one should be Blightbringer, an axe pommel, and then this one is a blades pommel. And then there is a, <coughs> see, Realm Tears. This should be an Epic Axe Pommel, Heavy Runic Attack over there, and then a Talisman right here. And Anchor of Fog. I'd do this one if I had to pick one. Alright, let's get this Chilling Mists of Niflheim thing. Next chest is final axe upgrade, I believe. The Eye of Niflheim. I think I picked up already. Oh, I got that. I got the Eye of Niflheim. The next one is Chilling Mist of Niflheim. I need 5,000 for it.
back to home. Go for Blightbringer next. It's worth it. No, oh, I barely use the axe. Why would I want to go for Blightbringer? I got the alloy. The alloy, I should go make another piece of armor. Seriously, be careful with those realm tears. Strength, runic, defense, and vitality. Or do I want the big dick runic? Runic. Probably this. I think that's a keeper. Now don't be a stranger. I know I didn't see the true ending, and I'll fucking go there when I want. Stop telling me to go to places when I already explicitly stated I did not want to do that right now. Remember the rule about not being kind of fucking backseaty? That's what you're doing. Don't do that. Want to go through all of Niflheim? This is my let's play. Let me experience it how I would like, please. Thank you. Generating essence. I got two of those now at least. good lager. I don't really drink lager anymore. Um, but Yingling is a good lager, if you want a lager. Whoa. Oh! Oh my god, fuck these things. Got past it that time with only minimal fuckery. Go fast! Oh, I mean... I hate witches. I hate witches. Taste a little bit better and a little bit stronger.
No! Shit! Oh my god. Stay the fuck away! No! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! No, 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 I already killed the queen. Oh, queen duck. No, I have not killed that one. I killed the Valken here. What is the queen Valka glitch? I didn't know there's a glitch associated with her. Probably keep going, but it really bothers me that I don't have a thing. But I suppose if it really comes down to it, I could probably just leave early. Like, I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm stuck in any of these fights. If I need to be like, fuck this, I'm out. I can do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck off things. I might have to skip the other boss fight, but... It's a stupid rare one, but it's heart shattering when it happens. Alright, well, telling me that there's a stupid rare glitch that can happen and... Make me lose everything doesn't tell me anything, bro. I need to know what what does the glitch involve? What causes the glitch to happen? Is it like, oh, when the Val kills you, if you press start, something might happen. Like, you can't just be like, oh yeah, there's a glitch and you'll lose shit. Not like, you gotta use your words. Scripted terms are No, 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 no! I should be dead. I need to leave this place. I need to fucking leave to haze with you though. Mm. Yeah, I mean I could make it on time, but I took I am way too low on health for another fight. I cannot die it's dying dying will. Dying would break me inside. I'll get the corridor chests and I'll be on my way. I'm alloy. Now, spin through the door. Okay, there, there. Where's the last one at?
Not even worth it. I'm just gonna go back, dude. Not even gonna worry about that thing. Wait, oh, I probably have enough gathered together. I can open up that thing and get the uh, axe upgrade. And between that, I need to find the stuff to upgrade my Valk stuff. <sighs> Technically, the safest way would be to just like farm this one room until you can make your armor set. <laughs> just farm it inside, farm it inside, farm it inside. We ain't doing all that. Now, wait till we have like a God of War Buddhism. Supposedly, the realm tears contain some kind of terrible secret Evaldi wanted hidden, but who knows, really? Dwarves okay. are strange. Yes, I realize I'm a dwarf. You need. Oh, that's fine. I'm always happy just to chat. See, the first question is how good is this? Like, is it worth using over the. Runic protection. Because I need to go get smoldering embers if I want to upgrade this. Also, have that. Which looks badass. Very gold and shiny. Hmm. Which way? This I want to upgrade. Where do I get that at? I want to find that pristine dust shit. Let's see. Pristine dust of the realm. Pristine dust of the realm. Pristine dust of the realm can be found in Stone's Falls. The deadly mist is best. That's what I got, right? Yeah. You don't need to make excuses to say hello. Valk is better for cooldown build, yeah, and I play 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 more of a cooldown runic build. Match. 
about that cooldown. Yeah. Alright, so I need to go. Sure, I'm open. Oh wait, first I gotta buy it, right? I have to buy it with the resource I got. I think, because I got that thing, resources. Yeah. There we go. Now, upgrade Max. Good choice. Done, Max. Well, what else were we talking about? All right, what'd you break? So, I need to go get dust to upgrade that. I can do that. That's easy. And then the question is... Need to scale of the realm. Ah. Liked all the cooldown I get on that. If I go for this, I don't know about the warriors unstoppable. That the warriors unstoppable doesn't seem as needed. Question: Do I want the regen or I wish Mom were here. greater crest to flame and pristine scale of the realm? Gauntlets. So I'm upgrading this, in which case I just need mist echoes. So I'll go to 24, 19, 46, 19, 24, 15 runic, 19, 46, 13, 63, 9. And so a lot more defense and a lot of fucking cooldown, whereas this is no cooldown and the defense is like meh. But it heals. Alright, let me go get that pristine dust there. That's it. Huh. Almost never go for regen. I'm gonna try it this time. I don't know, is it worth it? Regen actually worth it? Man, I'm hoping that now the axe is upgraded, if I upgrade my armor, that might be enough for me to take out the Queen Valk. Reflecting, making the green screen be fuck. Alright, let's see. You'll discover several blah 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 blah. Head east of Tears Temple at the center of the Lake of Nine to the Stones Falls region. Regen only felt useful out of combat. See, like, the only reason I would get it is if the regen was significant enough to help during the Queen Valk. Otherwise, I don't give a shit. Which I think during her, I'm gonna have to use the Dwarven. I think I'm gonna have to use the Dwarven stuff because of the thing where it's like, hey, if you use your move, you get super invulnerable to damage shield. That's the only way I'm gonna be able to stop it. What time is it anyway? I have the Valk armor, I just can't upgrade the final piece of the Valk armor. Right, let's see, I gotta go to Stone Falls region. That's a hard pass. There's like a dock over there. This thing says if you go to Stone's Fall, you'll, uh, well, you'll discover several treasure coffins and a precious material. Yeah, that's right, that is. I know exactly where we're going. That's where I picked up that quest to like dig up the thing from the dude. There was shit over there that I could not do. What were we into then? Oh, 
the revenge plot of Rintur, the stonemason's son. Once he longed to fight Thor, but tragedy had brought wisdom to Rintur and cunning. He observed that Asgard's walls were half-built and shoddy, for no Aesir god could be bothered with such tiresome labor. So Rintur adopted the guise of an ordinary man and made the Aesir an offer. He would build them majestic new walls, and if he couldn't build them within two turns of the season, they would owe him nothing for his labors. And if he succeeded, he asked only for an audience with the goddess Freya. Odin agreed, knowing the task was impossible, but intrigued by this stranger. Arimthur made short work of it, of course. He had the benefit of his father's training and the aid of a magical stallion for fetching stones. Odin was not happy to find himself on the losing end of the wager, but he seemed to uphold his end of the bargain. Freya was sent to meet the mason, and to her surprise, he wanted only to whisper something in her ear. That being done, he made his way out of Asgard. And when he found Thor awaiting him at the gates of Midgard, he knew he had been double-crossed. But he didn't care, because his plan was complete. It was? What did he say to Freya? Only she could say for certain, but I've had many moons to work it out. Harimthur knew that Freya loathed the Aesir, despite her marriage to Odin, and I believe he gave her the secret to Asgard's defenses. Some weakness he may have built in, structural or magical, which I expect will be exploited come Ragnarok when Surtur arrives to burn Asgard to ash, if not sooner. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. No, this is not where I'm trying to go. I got distracted with the story and forgot to look at my map. Come, boy. We must go north. Tell us a story, Uncle Mimir. There's something down there. We can beach over here. I've been here. It's not there. C R N. C R. Enemies ahead. Okay, bitches. Eleven months of going strong. Are there more enemies? Are we done? Are they done? Can we do this yet? There we go. Oh, hang on a second. I think I gotta do this. I gotta go. Ooh. 
There, they said there's another boat dock. Where is there? That's the shockwave. Sweet. Didn't I have another thing like this already? Yeah, that's like the same shit as this. Wasn't the Wrath... I think Wrath of Artemis was kind of like it too. the third one at one there at one where is the the fuck come on pull it down I can't seem to get this to work right because what I want to do is like throw and then up. It worked fine there, but throw. See how it pulls me off and now I can't get back on it? Like, what the fuck? Stairs to go up here? I didn't see any way up. To go around the island after you close the gate, the boat's entrance behind you. Well, that that. You are a raider. Legendary. Hey, How Denison. Are you the game? CB. Oh, that's a good game. It's solid. It did say boat dock, I just couldn't find the dock. Rotate the wheel to unlock the dock next to you? What? The mirror. There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and, and visions. Ah, that would be Gloa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress, who gathered every tome of arcane oh, wisdom she could thing. find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy, that she might find her lost husband, Arvandil. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions, for it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok. The end and the beginning. Well, I can just tell you the story later. Some sap. So I need to find sap to work the gate. Break that to go around to raise the gate to hit the thing. Where the fuck's the sap at? I didn't see sap around here. Pretty sure I can't get sap and get back on the boat. Y'all notice a sap thing anywhere? Hmm. 
right there. You panned over it. What? On the cliff side? You're talking about over there? Up from below, behind you, behind the gear. Oh, oh, there it is. Fucker's tucked in there. Oh. I'll do this. this thing. I get the Muselheim thing lit too. Okay, let's do it. Wind traps are still kind of annoying. What is this? Glaive storm, heavy runic. That's neat. Completely useless for fighting a Valkyrie. the knowledge keeper sought out her husband in visions but instead discovered Ragnarok and we'll pick this up later There better be something badass here. That one, and there's this one.
that runic is OP? What? How's that runic OP? What? Does it hit multiple times? Hitting and inflicting, because if it just seeks, if it hits her once... I'll try it. I'll put it on and try it. I mean, I got XP for days. If it hits multiple times, I could see, oh yeah, that's dirty. But if not... Two different chests. Chest. There's a theory that Kratos is tier or related to him since he already altered the timeline on top of traveling from the Greek realm to the Norse realm. It's resistance to frost attacks. It's garbage. Hmm, maybe. Bitch! Infinity Gauntlet! Yeah. They were pretty weak. Ah, uh, I remember this thing well. Never did open that. I will find a way into you. Get over to that. Gotta have something to do with the wheels. Fight the queen on stream? I'll fight her on stream, and then this is all gonna get uploaded to the Let's Play. Chain that raises closes that gate. Bridge raises the other side. That jump across. They did say that, you know, the all winter or whatever was coming faster than they thought it would. So based on that, you could say that Kratos has somehow altered the timeline. You can't really bitch about spoilers. Like, 
This stream says post-game exploration. Spoilers are obvious, even when I sent out the notification that I was going live. I quote, Finished recording the Let's Play of God of War, so I'm going to be doing a bit of post-story wrap-up. Obvious spoilers, FYI. Like, you can't... No. Can't bitch about spoilers in a stream like this, where it's obvious we're doing content after the game. Dew down there. Mountain Dew. This one's gonna be tricky. I need to like hit it as it's Hey, you got it. Solid steel, world serpent, symbol of shadow. Shadow. This way. Cross. Lower the chains to open the door and cross from that bridge. Lower the chains. Like this. Lower the chains. Chains go into here. small chain you can pull the top level near the warp point. Is that below me? Now that we have it opened, we can just hop around and go. Ta da! <laughs> I activate immediately after being hit to recover faster. Passive effect that increased the timing window on parries. So it's like the you failed to get good talisman, basically. I don't think I would use anything besides Infinity Gauntlet, because honestly, like, the biggest thing with this out of the talismans is the fact that you have three fucking sockets in it. Like, this looks cool, it slows time, but then I'm losing 21 runic, 23 defense, 17 vitality, 7 luck, and 5 strength. All to slow time. Same with this. Oh, cool. Giant fucking frost storm. But I get, I lose every, like, you could lose too many fucking stats. The fact that you can have three sockets is insane. Hands down makes it the best thing. I mean, I'm sure it is good, but that doesn't change the fact that three slots are busted OP.
Plus the gauntlet does good damage. Usually either kills stuff or gives you stun. Ah yes. Roa the knowledge keeper sought out her husband in visions, but instead discovered Ragnarok. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, oh, that's fucked having up. used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad. That's just... Ruthless? Barbaric? Heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. And so... Reflect longer. <clears throat> so, how do I get up to you? This is the only one I have not lit. Gauntlet. Wait, my gauntlet's only five? Oh, yeah, it's maxed out. Look, five. Can't figure out how, like, I mean, it looks like there's a path up there. I know I can't land here. Platform's not there. Looks like there's an entrance from the cave. Let me go into the witch's cave. Oh, it used to be 8 max now. Oh, so they nerfed it? Why would they nerf it? It's a single player game. Stupid. I, mean, I have to go into the cave. I can't think of any other way, but I feel like this is just a straight path back to the witch's stuff. I don't know how, like, this is what's, this is what's irritating. I need to get up here. I need to reach fucking Lucifer. Doesn't make sense, because this just goes straight back through to the witch. Is this one of those ones where I had to get it earlier? Like... Go to Tears Bridge? That's what I tried doing, but that was not working earlier. I tried turning the bridge and then going into Muselheim to light it, but that did not work. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Trying to get onto the Muselheim Tower. That tower right there. I think I can turn this, but not port. That should work, right? No, wait a minute. Tower is the, no, yeah, it always defaults to Vanaheim Tower. What, in the witch's cave? Into the bridge? Oh, I know the path you're talking about. That takes you're me over to the You're familiar with the tale of Skull and Haughty, bringers of day and night. Oh, yeah. Oh, that path. The wolf giants. Aye. They were born of the archwolf Hrothwitnir, 
a great nemesis of the Aesir gods. Odin captured them as pups and kept them in the kennels of Asgard to hold his foe at bay. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Steps out. Give me gear, uh, God of War is harder than all the Dark Souls franchises put together. Give me God of War is a gross example of artificial difficulty. Of course, it's hard. It just as easily be like, I think playing video games with your toes is Atreus, harder to than playing them with your hands. Like, yeah, no fucking shit. Give me God of War just buffs the shit out of the enemies, and but makes you weak like a basic bitch. Bitch is terrible game design, but... Where are we living? I'm just gonna do this. What is that? Oh, here we go. I'll get that later. Um. Already did all that. Here, the raven. Looks like it's fucking below me. Whatever. Ain't got time for the stupid raven. The door I was Here, missing. Boy. Another one. This one is Thrym, a frost giant king. Correct. A cunning one as well. 
Is that Mjolnir? Did he steal Thor's hammer? Aye, for a time. A lot of these seem to end with Thor killing them. Imagine that. Cipher. Look at this dickhead. Gone, bitch. All right, last one. Come. Reduce all damage from the. Oh, man, the fuck. Reduce all damage by five percent. All that work, and I get a five percent damage reduction. What a fucking joke. You can reduce it by 5%. Uh, I thought it was going to be something like, uh, with all the Brazier's wit and uh, each of the Valkyries take their powers back from the Valk Queen, and now she is less of a bitch. Uh, nope, just as much of a bitch. I mean, even if you could get other ones, 15% ain't shit. The Bout Queen basically dookies on you. Come on in, man. So much for peace and quiet. Suit yourself. What will it be? Looky, looky, Easter egg. Look left, right, up, down. 60 your neck. What? All that shit. Oh, hack silver. I only need 200 mist echoes to upgrade this bad boy. About the chest. Chest, I need smoldering embers. Now there's something else. The Easter egg, you get a handle for your axe. Uh, I don't think. I, I like my handles. My handles are stat heavy. I'm all about them stats. Uh, no. You know what? Let's let's go try and do, let's try the Valk Queen first. If I can't get her here, we'll go back to Niflheim and farm some more. I really need a drink. Water. I want some more tea. I'm out of tea. Uh, here we go. Up in this place. I will say, this boss is fucking ridiculous. 
grossly OP. Has every fucking move in the game, basically. Uh, let's get rid of these. Uh, oh, sockets, you. Actually, I'll probably keep the fucking cooldown. Cooldown and strength is nice. So, it though. Bit. But this is a better rune. Bit. Okie dokie, boys. Let's fucking do it. Here. Let's see. That. Yes. That. Yes. That. I feel like that doesn't work all the time, but I'll keep it. Uh, yes. Whoops, yes. Alright, full health. Just about full health. Full rage. Let's go. What's in here? Oh, it's this bitch! No! I fu- Oh my god, I was stuck in a corner, could not side dodge. Of course. God, I hate when she does that move. Die, die. No, oh my God. No, stop her. Stop her. Stop her. I'm not fucking going down that easy! Stop fucking hitting me! No! I was rage mode! Oh my god, you cancerous fucking... Oh shit, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Oh, so much for blocking. Damn it, dude, only half dead. Fucking hate this thing so much, dude.
No! No, you little cheating bitch! That's my iframe moment. You're not allowed to fucking hit me during that. I might as well just throw the fucking rocks into the whole goddamn time. Oh, because then she does shit like that. Okay, brother. And she does that. Like, I, dude, she has so much cheesy shit. This boss is such a bitch. She has so much shit that's unblockable. We're going back to this thing. Nope, not that. This thing for the runic fuck you protection barrier, which is OP when it works. Emphasis on when it works, which is rare. Instead of you, I I guess the no. See, this I don't want because I need the third slot. I need that slot. I could go for here for rage gain, but that's some butthole stats. I think I'm gonna take that runic attack off. Protective barrier! Enchantments, they're on. Let's see. Blessing, give me blessing, blessing, protect, protect, blessing. There's protective barrier. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No, run for the health, run for the health. Run around, run in circles. Suck a dick, sing run. Protective barrier! Oh no, there's her. Let me just throw a fucking hammer at the ground. Magic bullshit hit everything. Did I mention I'm part elf? Because yeah, I'm part elf. Like, fucking bitch, just die! Suck it. Oh my god, stop dodging the rocks! Damn, dude, that move is so fucking quick.
Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. Ah, I hate this fucking boss, dude. Dude, the stiletto attack is honestly fucking... It's cancer. Because she goes up, and you get, like, fucking... You have a second to roll. They Like, they made this fight as fucking cancer as possible. Right, we are, are swapping. This thing isn't getting enough damage in. We're going back to Last of Hephaestus. Just light her ass on fire. Be on our way. Protective barrier. No. No, come here. Jesus bless me! What the fuck? I was in the middle of a dodge! Dude, she is such a cheap ass! with the stilettos! Oh my god! Oh man. Yeah, do your- No, you- A black ball. <laughs> oh my god, dude! It's fucking boss.
So close, dude. <laughs> I can definitely get her, though. I think I have the right combo of, of things here. I just need to have a flawless run. I'm gonna beat your ass right now, Sigrun. You stupid gold fucking Valkyrie bitch. Suck a big rock. Have a big punch. Oh no, there, there goes her hammer. You go. Blessing of Runic. No, oh, oh shit. A little too much Dark Souls. Press circle to dodge there. No! What? You would have been interrupted! Why do you get fucking hyper armor on half your moves sometimes, and the other times you don't? It's infuriating. Like, sometimes her moves will get hyper. The other times, they're just like, yeah, you know what? This time you're gonna interrupt me. Like, it's so fucking inconsistent, and it's only with this boss. There goes my rage meter. Oh my god, just kill me. Just kill me, you fucking whore. Definitely the most irritating fight in the game. Wow! Wow! I had fucking blessing up and she was like, now you don't. Now you don't. Like this like dude, she literally fucking cheats. That's why this thing is irritating. She literally like half the time she just gets fucking hyper armor. And then half the time, she doesn't. Well, at least the game pauses when the controller dies.
Oh my god, and then that missed. I'm tempted to just like dodge and only do runics, but nope. Shit, I fucked that up. I gotta do the double dodge for that attack. Oh, here we go. Oh, yep, unavoidable. Yep. Oh, just kidding. I'm gonna transition into this. I know you were about to do your move, but my grab trumps everything. Why? Why is she able to just do this shit? That was while being hit with arrows. That is a gigantic AoE, apparently fucking unavoidable attack. Why do you have something like that? We want to make sure that the player is either at full health or that they are at risk of dying during the Sigma fight. Because otherwise, we don't feel it would be challenging enough. Why, dude? Why is she able to do that? I'm literally hitting her with arrows. You're not turned enough. She got your corner eye. Dude, that's a, like, even if I don't look at it, I don't think it's going to stop the fucking shockwave. This boss is just an asshole, dude. Just, just bad boss designs. Too much shit. One boss does not need this much shit. Oh, you're in rage mode? Sorry, let me just cancel that out. Oh my fucking god, secret. Oh, here we go. I'm getting fucking hit. Oh my god. See, that time it worked. <laughs> I didn't say you could do a death move. Go! 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 Go!
Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. Just let this one in. She's not nearly dead enough. Fuck my shit up. Like, I should not have to spam fucking runic attacks like I am right now for a fight. No, no, why? Why can you do that in the middle of my animation? Oh my god, I hate her so much. Protective barrier! No, no, no. Fuck you. I still got rage. Stay there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Stop that. Stop your ice shit. Again! Again! I was in the middle of my fucking iframe move, dude! weird I looked exactly behind it's almost like that does not fucking work oh, I'm pretty sure the only way to stop that shit is to hit her I don't have 
nearly enough health regen. Why does she not get interrupted? Oh my god. Infinity Gauntlet interrupts everything except for this bitch, who like half the time it does. And the other half, she's like, oh no, you know what? No, not right now. I don't think I want to be interrupted this time. You look like you might kill me, so, you know, instead. That was an unblockable. Oh my god. We're gonna have to pop this early! The gaunt- no, dude, the gauntlet still has three sockets. You're suggesting throwing away buttloads of fucking stats. Wow, dude, now I'm like, my dodges aren't even fucking working. Wow, okay, let's just, we're, we're just gonna wipe that one clean, that one did not happen. Everyone that's saying look away for the flash move, I don't think you understand. This is not the other Valkyrie. It's not just a blind. She also does a massive damage shockwave. Your only chance is to throw the axe at her. If you can get the axe throw out, you can interrupt her. You can't just be like, nope, I don't see you. It does not work like that. Even when looking around, the damage is still hitting you. Oh, I did not mean to put this on already. Oh, there we go. Alright, it's turned off. Basically whipped, raced in my fucking revenge. Oh my god. Alright, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna quick turn. This time, when she does it, I'm gonna just quick turn. That's all I'm gonna do is press quick turn. And then you're all gonna look like assholes because it does not work. she's gonna do the unblockable when I can't see anything. There's nothing else. Anything else wouldn't be worthy of a uh, Seagrun queen of the bitch. Cheek. 
No. Oh. Mm. Didn't get it. Didn't even get to the quick turn, but. Protective barrier. Nope. Protective barrier ran out. For both to lose a lightning arrow and a rupture. No, it does not. I am hitting her with lightning arrows during these moves. And she is not being interrupted. Unless you have beaten this on give me a challenge or give me God of War difficulty, please stop making suggestions. Because a lot of you are probably trying to make suggestions based either off your experience on normal, where that shit probably still works, or you're basing it off of the other Valkyries. This is not like the other Valkyries. This is the Queen Valkyrie. Her moveset has moves from all of the Valkyries. But she does not have their vulnerabilities. I'm trying to say this as nice as possible, but this fight is irritating and people are like, do this, do this, do this. And y'all are suggesting a lot of shit that does not fucking work. You're suggesting shit that does not work proven. T6, I'm sorry, I don't believe you. Because I'm doing arrows, and it is not interrupting her. I'm not interrupting her. I'm doing arrows. Fine, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna not use arrows except for when she's in the air. Oh my god, that one arrow got him. Nope, here we go. Jump in the air. I did not mean to do that. Just fuck up my whole rage meter. Man, that was weird. She was in the air. Arrows did nothing there. I'm telling you guys, I don't know. Maybe they patched it. I don't know. But her, like, her, her invulnerable. Oh my god, now she's gonna do this again. Her, she gets, she's like suddenly getting hyper armor when she should not get hyper armor. She's hitting me through block. Coming. Why not blue arrows? Because lightning works better, I think. Let's try blue arrows.
Go, Mega Wolves! Oh, oh, fuck. That's stupid. I did not dodge when I should have. Magical wolves. God, that's the worst. When, like, you're stuck in an animation and, you, you know, she's just gonna get her shit off. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. I just need to keep tapping. I need to just keep doing this. Because I need to get... Dude, I hate that when you don't have the axe. Shit, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. And I was blocking that, but I guess not.
No. Look at that, dude. Instantly into the fucking neck kick. Like, why are you such a bitch, Seagram? Stop with your cheeky bullshit. Like, that seems to be the best way to stop her shit is to just never let her fucking be within range of you. Keep her stuck, whoops. Keep her stuck. Oh, I inter oh, that's nice. I interrupted her and then she just grabbed me. That's that's neat. I'm like, oh, you're not gonna let me do my my aerial bullshit move? Yeah, I'll just fucking grab you by the face and kill you instead. Time is it? Shut the fuck up, Mimir! We're not tactical retreating anything. I just gotta spam the shit out of my R1, heal up to full here, get through like another third of her health at least, and then finish it. Ugh! <sighs> 
Like, so far, this has been one of the easiest runs. That's, like, another big problem is... It's, like, it's not consistent in what she's gonna do. Like, sometimes she's gonna do... No! See? It's like if I interrupt her with that, sometimes she falls down and she's vulnerable. Other times, she's like, oh, you interrupted me? Okay, I'll just do this thing. I know how much you absolutely love when I jump on top of you and step on your fucking throat, my Viking stilettos. Nope, nope, oh man, that fucking hurt. Oh my god, right there, why? Why no interruption? Why were you not interrupted? Every other time I do that move, it interrupts you. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. I got the Viking protection. I'm not gonna get enough health, though. Unless my health goes, like, drastically up right here. Oh, oh, she's gonna... She's like, no, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. No. No. No, you bitch! Oh my god! Watcher, here we go. like this boss at all. I should just go upgrade my fucking armor. Should upgrade my armor, come back, and be done with it. But it's like, I'm so fucking close. Basically, what this comes down to is I just need to play fucking perfect. Not today, bitch! Be gone! No! I hate how even when you, like, like you get out of that, you still take a fuckload of damage.
ability to heal now. Wanted to wait a little bit longer, but I can't really afford to. good right now. Oh my god. No! No! What the fuck? Like, what do you do against that? Unblockable, wide range, AoE, ground, hammer, pound, blind move. Like, what can you do to stop that? Protector Barrier, save me! Like, I don't... We got the air timing. We got the dodge timing. What are we supposed to do against... Against giant mace AoE blind, blind ground slam move? You run. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Let me just go. I forgot Kratos isn't wearing his, his ASICs today. I gotta go... I gotta equip my running shoes first, and then I can dodge that move.
Stop trying to hit me with that shit. God damn it. Shit! I had a pinch. Doggies, please keep her heal while I just beat on her to heal up. Not gonna get rage again during this fight. So we gotta get to like full hell. <sighs> See, this is what bothers me about it, right? Right there. Almost this entire fight. When I throw my axe and she's locked in it, she is stunned. And while that works, I can do a barehanded R1 combo. Right there. She is caught in it. And then she just breaks out of it. I get that you guys are trying to give tips. But the point is, this bitch is not consistent. Half the time something works, half the time it fucking doesn't. Like, Nameless King is a hard fight, but I at least know that the shit he does is consistent. Like that time, she walked into it and it interrupted her ass.
And then that move. Like, why? Why is it that that is allowed to... Why does her fucking high heel throat stop? It literally overrides everything else in the game. It doesn't matter. Fucking Odin could come down and interrupt in the fight. And she'd be like, nope. Throat stop. fuck happened that time? My axe just flew into the middle of nowhere. That did rage and not. Oh my god, every fucking time. She's like, just kidding! I don't care! Let me ignore the infinity gauntlet the one time it fucking matters! Like, dude, I think, Cloudy, I think you're right. I think when they get below 30%, they get... So, like, I'm pretty sure that they have fucking, like... It's like, they get below 30% and instantly... What we don't realize is that she freezes time and goes and puts on fucking full Havel gear and then comes back 
with so much poise that not even the fucking super infinity gauntlet thing that literally guard breaks every single thing in the game does nothing to her. She's just like, yeah, no, I'm going to fly through that and I'm going to grab your face. She literally becomes the fucking Incredible Hulk wearing two Infinity Gauntlets below 30%. Nothing stops her. It's stupid. It's stupid. Like, I didn't even get fucking greedy. Like, I'm being very patient. Oh wow, look, it's like the Infinity Gauntlet fucking staggered her there. I'm just not gonna fucking use it, like, once she gets past a certain part, because... I'm starting to think even the wolves wouldn't stagger her. Oh, did not back roll. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna go grab a drink. I'll be back. Oh. 
like the comment Fighting Cowboys said in an episode, I will smash anything. Yeah, right. Well, Tom, see, the thing is, um, that comment in particular, it's always important that you keep in mind the context of things. And that topic in particular was when I was talking to your, your mother and your sister the other day at lunch, and they were asking what types of sexual deviations I would be into to perform with them. Hence my response, I will smash anything. So, just make sure to keep context in mind. It's very important that you don't take things out of context. Hey man, I ain't got nothing wrong with a dead body. It ain't nothing that a little sunlight and lube can't fix, Tom. Don't act like you don't know that. Uh, for real though, what's worse, her or Nefertiti from Assassin's Creed? Um, probably this. Nefertiti was annoying because Nefertiti was just Nefertiti was pure artificial difficulty. This boss, this boss is more. It's not so much artificial. It's just that she has so much shit. It's like. <sighs> Like, all right, look at it like this. Every single Souls boss, you know, they have a move set. And in general, I'd say there are probably five or six. I'd say five or six moves you need to look out for that are, are like, a threat. This lady, let's see. We got the, uh, the high heel stomp, which has two variations. Sometimes it's single. Sometimes it's triple dodge to avoid it. Um, we got the fly forward thing. Which, once again, sometimes single, sometimes triple dodge. Both of those are uninterruptible, apparently. Um, we got her ice thing. The ice thing is easy enough. Block, 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 dodge. We got her unblockable ground wave thing. That's easy enough. You just dodge it when it's coming. So, right, so far we got... Let's see, what did I say? We got heal. We got heal, fly, ice, wave. Um, we have the wing spikes... Which, those aren't too bad. The wing spikes, you usually just block them, but she'll follow it up with a charging thing. Uh, we have the in-the-air blind. We have the in-the-air hammer throw. We have the charge on the ground hammer throw. We have the unblockable charge. Like, where does it stop, dude? Oh, yeah, the sky fire attack. That's 10. What else do we got? I know there's more. I know there's fucking more. One red stab and the back feather. Oh, okay. I forgot about the back, back feather toss. She likes to do that one on Sundays. Total 14 attacks. Yeah, that's insane. I mean, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't think of a single Souls boss that has 14 different attacks you need to worry about. Oh, oh. oh that thing, the throwies. I forgot about the throwies. Well, she has the regular throwy and then the unblockable throwy as well. Oh, forgot about the scythe. Oh, 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 oh. She followed that shit up. I mean, she will go down. It's, um... I'm slowly... Oh. And then that one, which is weird. I think I just need to parry the first hit of that. Oh, I hit the wrong button there. <clears throat> one, two...
Protective barrier! Oh. She just went, she went for the dashing. She didn't even fuck around this time. Stop trying to do that shit. This one's done, dude. This is so done. There's no way I'm going to get enough health to, to pull this out. Oh, oh my god. Why? Why do you gotta always leave the health in areas where it's like a pain in the ass to get? Why can't you just leave the health where I can reach it? That's another thing I'm having trouble with, is <clears throat> when I throw the axe, like my move, which throws the axe, you gotta pull the axe back, and I get fucking hit pulling that damn axe back. I think I might I might need to replace Tears Revenge. Like sometimes it works, but I think I need something else. I need something that's like really fucking quick. Maybe that. Which gets four damage and a bit of frost. I like frost beam, but frost beam is way too fucking vulnerable. I was thinking this could work. Kratos is protected during the dash, just to be like, oh, boom! Hell's Touch. That's the early one. The Beam? Dude, I don't think the beam works. I was trying to use the beam on her earlier. I'll show you guys the beam. The only way you can use the beam that I found is if she is stun locked by the wolves. Oh god. This one's going bad. Like this, this works well, because if it hits her, it's like two bars of health. I like that, because it's fast. This is big damage. Let that go. That was a bad ram. It's alright. I just gotta get through this glass of whiskey and ginger. <clears throat> and then I'll be I'll be a set. Hyperion grapple? Does that actually work well?
Hyperion Grapple. I was thinking about doing Hyperion Grapple. Or, no, that's the heavy one. This is four, so alright. Well. Hyperion Grapple and Blast of Hepatitis. That's a good one. <clears throat> and then Strike of the Utgard. Strike of the Utgard. Oh, this? See, I feel like this is... Isn't this the one that, that's really slow? Blessings of the Frost. Blessings of the... Is that the one where you just enchant your axe with, with uh, ice? Could get good. And you think about it, every time we play For Honor, it's like after a couple drinks, fucking people just start dropping like flies. Yeah, I could go for that. Just be like, blah, 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 blah. 24 seconds and it's a melee. Let's try it. Gotta believe in the spin to win. Okie dokie, let's go. Oh shit! Oh, that hurt! Oh, that hurt! Infinity! Hepatitis Blast, protect me! Yeah, no shit! No! Keep her in the corner. Keep her in the corner. Keep. Oh, where are you going? Come back! Oh, come back! You just let me heal up. And I'm gonna beat you. A rock. Oh Have a present. Spend the win! Oh shit! No, 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 no! Why? Why did you do that then? Oh, you bitch, get your fucking high heels out of here! I'm calling cheating because even fucking strippers do not walk this good in heels. Oh. 
Ow, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, oh no. Just kidding, bitch. I'm coming back. Here it comes! Here it fucking comes! Bitch, you're gonna go down right fucking here! Here it comes! Oh no. Infinity Gauntlet, save me! Spin the wind! Oh, wait, wait! There wasn't even greed! I wasn't even attacking her! Stop saying greed! How was I greedy? Uh, oh my god. This bitch is going down. Uh, I needed the heal. This actually works really well. Enjoy the axe! Oh, no, just kidding. Here comes the throat kick. This is give me a challenge. She's just that much of a bitch. But even on give me a challenge, she's this ridiculous. Oh. I'll find some help. I'm gonna beat the health out of her. Stop doing that. Take a rock. Break that shit up. Oh my god. I should have had my was my runic magical protection. Oh shit! Infinity Gauntlet! Oh, shit! 
expand to win! That wing, give me that wing. <sighs> Thank you, friends. Oh. You have saved the Valkyries. Sigrun, how did this happen? Mimir, is that you? You have been freed, but freedom comes at a price, my lady. You speak truly. Countless winters we serve the All Father. But only through his union to the Queen did we ever taste some measure of freedom. But aren't you the Queen? There has only been one Queen of the Valkyries, the Goddess Freya. When Odin severed her wings, I served in her absence, but it wasn't enough for the Allfather. He used an archaic piece of magic, corrupting my sisters. I tried to contain the damage by imprisoning them in places where they could cause no harm, but... Soon, I lost myself as well. Sigrun, I'm sorry for being so worthless. I could have done something, or tried at the very <sighs> least. What will you do now? I must reunite with my sisters. Together, we can restore balance to the realms. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. You don't sound very happy about it. It's difficult to be happy about anything when you're a reanimated head. R1 I'm Axe Throne Recall becomes incredibly three. powerful. So Low perk activation chance to massively nice. damage explosions. Dude, the stats on that are fucking brutal. I like all the cooldown. R1 Axe Throw becomes pimp mode, basically. Thanks. Thanks, Thark. That is yourself, Head. It does not matter anymore. The past is the past. Well, that's awfully cheerful coming from you. I am in a good mood. The dwarves will make use of this helm. Your dad's a wee bit single minded, isn't he, lad? <laughs> Definitely. Oh, man. She is dead. Can beat her. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's wrap this up. Just need a whiskey, exactly. Wait, so Freya is the Valkyrie Queen? She never told us. You never told us. Explain yourself, Head. Or are you bewitched again? Not at all. Freya was Queen of the Valkyries at one point. Part of her marriage dowry included overseeing the Valkyries themselves. As a powerful Vanir goddess, they revered her. I never knew how much until now. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. A bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger.
Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Like how we still have Mimir with us. He's just our head friend sleep. now. Way ahead of you. Slater. The ball. Probably Thor. the full full end. I mean, you know, aside from the the ending and then the like extra ending, this was almost a perfect game. Like I think the uh I mentioned this in a let's play episode already because I went to like, you know, I did like a mini review of the game at the end when I what I thought was the credits. Um but, like, my only real, I guess, disappointment in the game was that when you get to... Like, at the very start of the game, at least on higher difficulties, it's fucking terrible. Like, until you start getting abilities and the different runic powers and whatnot, it sucks. And once you get that stuff, you know, you really hit the ground running and shit kicks off. But... I mean, like, the first ten episodes, people were like, why do you just use Axe Throw? Why are you only using Axe Throw? And it's like, you know, it's not that I, I wanted to only use Axe Throw. It's just that at the very beginning of the game, that's all you fucking have. I have Light Attack. I have Heavy Attack. I have a Parry with zero fucking follow-up. Like, until you start getting XP, you're basically dead in the water. And the thing is, late game, you have more XP than you can, like, possibly even use. So, I think that could have been balanced a little bit better. I think, like, before you even reach Alfheim, I think you should have had, you know, a couple of your upgrades already. Because, like you guys said, by, like, after Alfheim, shit really starts to get going. So by that point, you get, like, you know, as you hit levels, you're picking up your abilities and whatnot. But, you know, the, the combat is so dependent on having those abilities that without them, it's severely lacking. Like, if you look at how the combat was in the first ten episodes of the series versus the last ten, holy shit, what a difference. Um... I will say I liked it. I mean, I just in general, because you guys, you know, I tried playing, I think it was Gears, or, uh, God of War 3, the remaster. I played it for, like, two hours and was like, fuck this. This is... Um, just wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fucking fun at all. Um, but this was a blast. I like the world, I like the lore. But that ending, man, like, alright, cause so, stick with me here. We get, we have this boss fight with Balder. It's a huge fucking boss fight. You know, there's cutscenes, Freya's getting involved, all this shit. He tries to punch you, and that's how the mistletoe gets in him. He's like, oh my god, I can, you know, feel stuff, what the hell? And then you beat his ass, and then you're like, don't touch your mom anymore, and he tries to and break his neck, and then the mom's all mad, and she's your enemy now. And then... Okay, let's go to Jotunheim. And then you go there, and you sprinkle the ashes, and you get a little bit of foreshadowing with the plate showing Kratos lying against the boy and dying, and then... Credits roll, game's done, go free run. Okay. Then we come to the house, and over at the house, we get a little cutscene. We sleep years later. I don't know why the fuck it's years later. 
Don't don't ask me why it's 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 years later. You know it doesn't make it doesn't. I'm gonna lower the game volume a little bit for a second. But it doesn't make sense that it's it's years later. Are you telling me that we went to sleep? We we went to sleep for eight hours and slept for years. Th that's not called going to sleep. That's called a fucking coma. Story is not over. We still have Ride and Rock in the next game. Are they making another one? Like, is that a hundred percent confirmed? Because if they're not, like, this is a very unsatisfying ending. Yeah, it's years later, boy is still a boy. Kratos looks the exact same. Ragnarok, Thor, Odin, Loki yet to come. What do you mean? Loki is the boy, my dude. I don't know if you didn't get to that part in the game, but... Loki is the child. It was a prophetic dream. Years later is a prophetic dream? I mean, if there's going to be more, that's great, but... Because that was my big thing. As we get to the end, and I'm like, yo, there's like four more realms. We have, like, we got, we got the regular one, we got Alfheim, we went to Jotunheim, which I don't even really know if we can say we did Jotunheim. We basically walked into Jotunheim. The fucking portal took us straight to the goddamn mountaintop. Don't ask me how that shit works. Uh, and then we scattered some ashes. We did Helheim, Muselheim, and then Niflheim. So we did five. So we still had we had four more remaining, right? Nine realms, I think. We had Asgard. We had um, um, something Heim. I don't know. There's a bunch of other Heims that we didn't go to. Heim and Heim. That's not a real one. I'm kidding. But so, alright, new game to look forward to. That'll be fun. Loki's weird, he gave birth to you. Among a deer, hell, Stefaner, Fenrir, and something else. Already right, confirmed there'll be no story DLC. Did he beat the queen? Yes, I beat the queen. What, you think I ended the game without beating the queen? The game hints heavily at time travel because Loki births the world serpent in lore and the mural. Oh, that's the world serpent coming out of his mouth when Kratos dies. Alright, that makes sense. I was wondering that. I was like, what the fuck's coming out of dude's mouth? Um, stories of gods are set over millennia, so I think the gods... I think for the gods, what is hours or days is equivalent to hundreds of thousands of years from mortals. Maybe. Yeah, Revenge of the Himes is going to be next. But, I mean, it should be a good game when it comes out. We probably won't see the next one for... Fucking, who knows, two, three years, knowing how fast they make these. When you skip the credits, it tells you it's a dream. Oh, well, I'll let the credits roll. I feel it's important to let credits roll in a game, you know? Like, when I go to a, and, and for, for this reason, when I go to a movie, I don't watch the credits, almost ever. Because I don't care. I was there for 90 minutes, well, yeah, it was entertaining, I walked away. A game, a game, oh no. I have put... I had 58 episodes in the Let's Play. 50 fucking 8 episodes. Plus this stream. So we look at that 58 episode Let's Play. We'll say those are 30 minutes each. This stream has been about 4 hours. So... I'm gonna add that time in. Take that. Divide that all by 60. That's 33 hours. Then off stream, like, you know, doing fucking upgradings and dicking around. So probably about a 35 hour game. So you're looking 30 to 40 hours of content. That's a lot of time. I think people deserve to get recognized when they can keep me entertained for 30 to 40 hours. Next game you'll be playing as the head of Mimir. I can't wait. That sounds fucking fantastic. I just bebop around as a head. That's going to be so damn cool. Also, this music might demonetize you. The music gets louder in its 30 minute duration. Mmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Alright, sorry, credits. That's all you get. Present day. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble Winter was ending, and Thor came for us. Here at the house. It was only a dream. Was, but it felt different. That was a prophecy, my dude. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. I like that. I like this move. 
Boom, 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 boom. That's probably like the most underused. Like you that you get that move so late, but it's so badass. Where's this one? That one's also cool. But it's not as good as Ba 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 Playing as a boy with the axe. Oh wow, man, you think this shrimpy little child is gonna be swinging around an axe? All right. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up here. It is 1:07. I need to mosey on to bed. Purpose of this stream was mainly to kill that Valkyrie queen, which we accomplished. So on that note, it's time to end for the night. My biggest gripe with the game is how did Kratos not know his wife was a fucking giant? I mean, they're not all like giant giants. They they can like turn into like uh, smaller people, basically. That's my understanding of it. Uh, oh, here we go. Eerie is streaming some item randomizers in New Game Plus. It looks like he's about to kill fucking Gwyn already. I mean, either way, I'm sure he'll do some shit. So I'll send you guys over to him. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to go to bed and get some rest. But we'll be streaming tomorrow. Probably, I'm thinking Elder Scrolls Online now that I am wrapped up with this. Um... Conan will probably be like Tuesday, Monster Hunter Monday, etc., etc. So, adios, folks. Go give Eerie some love, and I'll catch you guys next time.